Why a feather? I don't know, because it's pink and it's awesome. Shut up. You're jealous of my feather. You know it. Oh, yes, Tara. That, that's what's missing in my life. You should I... totally be rocking some pink hair feathers. That'd be hot. Yes, a feather in my hair is, is what's totally missing. It's like, it's like a feather in your cap, only more fashionable. And I just lost the sizer for my hippo ring. I'm so discombobulated and unprepared because, like, I, I did. I had a mouthful of potato chips, and you're like, 40 seconds, and I'm like, shit. And I don't have a hippo. <clears throat> and my ring. Got your hippo ring. Okay. Yeah. You don't have a hippo? Darn. Oh, disembodied orgasm hippo is within reach, sir. Don't challenge me. I can make it happen. I can give you, like, my totem hippo. Ah. He looks like he has a glandular problem. <clears throat> are you ready to do the, the news? I'm ready. Oh, thank you. My nails are zebra print. Somebody like my nails. I'm all kinds of, I'm like 80s today. I got to work and I realized I had a ton of blue eyeshadow and this pink thing and... Love is a battlefield, truly. Okay, each week Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff for us, brings it back here in a little segment we like to call... Crazy. Ooh, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm crazy Oh, Catherine, she found us so much tonight, Sarah. Really? And guess how much is naked? Like... 95%. A good chunk. There is a lot of naked here. There is. Let's let's start off. Let's ease into the crazy tonight because this one we're just going to take it take it slow. Um These are these are speaking... I feel dirty cuz you just said that to me. <laughs> I know. All right. These are two things that uh should not ever Oh, Nash, go they're already together. plotting to get you a hair feather. Make it happen, people. Make it happen. From Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a 20-year-old Pennsylvania man has been arrested by the North Myrtle Beach Public Safety Department after shooting off fireworks naked. <gasps> oh, no. According to the incident report, an officer was dispatched to the area behind the Sea Castle uh, in reference to someone shooting off fireworks. Upon arrival, the officer heard several people yell police, and a large group of men and women began to run in different directions. The officer saw Stephen Van Zant Moyer, 20, running toward him with no clothes on. No, because what happens when you think you're lighting your Roman candle and you're lighting your Roman candle? <laughs> that's just... That's just... Involuntary sterilization waiting to happen. Is that an M80 in your pocket? You're just happy to see me. Yeah. And then there's hair and oh, bad, yes. bad idea. Yes. The, the, yeah, let's, Fire, let's cover this. Fire and naked do not mix. Fire does not go anywhere near the junk area. That's <laughs> that's that's a bad place for fire to be. But on top it's of like it's kind of like don't use your vagina to store knives. Yes, yes. But no on fire. on no top of that, on top of that, being naked and running at the cops seems like. Um, well, I mean, I guess they knew he wasn't armed. Um. Well, he was charged with public nudity. Uh, really. Oh, 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 oh. I just, just. <laughs> what possible good could come from running at a cop naked? What? I gotta think some form of chemical enhancement was involved here because, I mean, if if you're lighting off fireworks naked, you've already either got to be stupid or drunk or high or some combination thereof. And then when the cops are there and you decide to run at them, I mean, all this is missing is him stopping and giving them the helicopter dick. That's <laughs> that would really be the cherry on top of this fantastic Sunday. 
Uh, oh, but wait, that's 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 starting small for this. Yeah, week. that's that doesn't make me happy. No pun intended. Um, hey, you don't know. They didn't say. I'm trying to find uh, which one we have this week. No, no, we're not. We're saving her. She she pissed me off. Oh, more naked home invasion. Really? Stop going to. Well, this one actually, he kind of had a reason for the there. Be uh, naked in your own home. Report: Mom comes home to find naked man in laundry room. According to a Columbus police report. Well. Uh, was what? he doing his laundry? Because that would kind of make sense. <laughs> no, maybe he was. Maybe we finally have someone logically naked. He was doing something else. Uh -oh. Um, a uh, on uh, Sunday, May twenty second, a woman opened the door of her house on Camshire Court in Blacklick and found a naked man hiding in her laundry room. Uh, the report said the woman began to run. The suspect ran outside and jumped into the woman's car. At that point, the woman closed the door and locked it to present, prevent the subject from returning. We're getting there. The woman then reported that her daughter had just stepped out of the shower and started arguing with her about the subject. The daughter's boyfriend! Okay, well, still logically naked. True. Gotta he be honest. Wasn't doing his laundry. He he was doing something else. Um, as we're two as the two were arguing, just to, just the cherry on top here. The report said the woman heard a loud noise. She turned to see that the suspect had kicked in the front door. Nice. Naked? Officers said. He's got to have like feet of steel. Officers arrived as the suspect was walking away with the woman's daughter. <laughs> had they gotten dressed by that point, I wonder? Had they? I know, you know, they're like, fuck it. These are important details, journalists. <laughs> Like, was the daughter like, all right, fuck this, and dropped the towel, and they just wandered off happily into the naked sunset? <laughs> Why are minds want to know? So, something tells me that uh, he's not going to be invited around for dinner anytime soon. I don't think he was that time. <laughs> all the fucking cops. Uh, that's not the way you would do introduce your boyfriend to your mother. That's just not how you do that. Probably not. Like, probably not, no. Oh, God have mercy. Oh, but we've got way more. Oh, speaking of mothers, um, this lady. Uh, oh, we, we've got a we've got a couple of special places in hell awards for this week. Tampa, Florida. A Tampa mother is behind bars Monday She's after be in jail for that hairdo. After beating her one-year-old child <gasps> for eating her marijuana. Tampa police say India Chur India Couch, 22, faces drug and felony child abuse charges. Investigators say the child was left unsupervised, found the pot in her mother's purse, and ate an undisclosed amount of the drug. That's when police say Couch beat the child with a sandal and then hit the one-year-old hard enough to leave welts. Uh, Tampa Police Department also says this mother attacked her live-in partner with a dumbbell. Wow. Special place in hell. Uh, uh, there are so, so fucking many ways this is wrong. Like, first of all, maybe you don't leave your fucking pot where your one-year-old can get to it. Because what's just an awesome buzz for you is dead for your one-year-old. I know. The, the first thing I would be concerned about, and this is saying me, and I hate kids. If this was my offspring, the first thing I would do would saying. Oh shit, call 911. My child may have taken an overdose of a drug. Not get that out of you your know, mouth. I still need control, to control something. Right. Not get that out of your mouth. I still intend to smoke this. And then she beat her her significant other with a dumbbell just for the cherry on top. I, I don't even, I don't have anything funny to say. I want bad things to happen to this person. Special place in hell. Special place. I want her to, like, get seated next to Sarah Palin on a cross-country bus trip with no bathroom breaks. Considering Sarah Palin's on a cross-country bathroom. Hey, this could be arranged. This, this yeah. could. 
This should be part of the sentence. We could we could do that. That's what I'm saying. That 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 seems like appropriate. Actually, that might be a violation of the Geneva Conventions. Oh, maybe. That maybe. might be un- cruel and unusual. Well, it's unusual for sure. <laughs> Okay, what else do we have? This one is just one of those things where you ever wake up one day and have uh, spirits tell you to take off your pants and go to the police? This lady did. Yes. (laughs) What? (laughs) That that never happened to you? No, never happened. Actually, I was pretty sure my apartment was haunted for a while. Did did, uh, Did the ghost tell you to be naked? No, the ghost as i understand it tried to strangle me in my sleep um i I had really vivid dreams that my sister was in my bed like stuffing pills down my throat and trying to smother me with a pillow and i kept waking up with panic attacks and my friend nathan came over and like burned some sage and exercised he went all fucking dean winchester on my apartment and there haven't been a problem since A woman found standing naked outside the Gurney police station told police that spirits have told her to take her clothes off and walk to the police department. The 52-year-old local woman showed up at the department uh, at 7.30 a.m. Three officers found her standing at the southwest corner of the building. The woman allegedly told the officer she was awakened by the spirits in her apartment and that they told her to remove her clothes before proceeding to the police facility. Okay, on the one hand... If spirits tell you to take your clothes off, um, your first response should be no. But on the other, at least they were polite enough. Well, I mean, that depends. Is the spirit hot? These things matter. If it's the spirit of... Sweetie, the minute the words just exited... Who's a really hot dead person? When the words exited your mouth, James Dean, I'm gonna think about it. When the words exited your mouth, the fanfic was already underway. Well, use proper grammar. That's all I can say. On the one hand, that shit, kids, or I'll be angry. Now they did tell her to get naked, but at least they they told her to go to a place where people would help her. Which is kind of nice of the spirits. Yeah. I think they're like, wait, if she's dumb enough to take her clothes off, yeah, she needs supervision. Let's tell her to go to the cops. Okay, this is a good idea. Hey, lady! Maybe it's like the voices on Lost. <laughs> the whispers in the jungle. And they're like the dead people trying to help you. Or maybe they were just going to see if what they could get her to get away with, to, to do, so the, what they could get away with. Hey, 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 tell her to stake her face in the peanut butter. Do it. Totally well, do it, man. Do it. Come her, on. But if they wanted her to get away with shit, then they shouldn't have told her to go to the cops. That's pretty dumb. Well, maybe one of them was nice. I don't know. She's... Oh, people, do not fucking insult loss to me. She'll slap Serious you. goddamn business, and I will cut you. She will. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little worrisome, but she will. Uh, let's see. Very closely, I have my box set over there. I have my Hurley action figure around here somewhere. Do not fuck with Lost. Speaking of special places in hell, oh dear. Again, Florida. Of course, Florida. Had to be Florida. Of course. The headline alone. Load. Investigators, Polk Deputy... (gasps) Tied naked children to desk, beat them with paddle. Oh, and and oh, the first the first paragraph is so much worse. So she much filmed worse. it. Yes, Polk County Sheriff's deputy filmed herself strapping naked children to a desk and spanking them with sex toys, then sent the video to a boyfriend she met on a fetish website. Do we uh, do we really have to go on here? I mean, please let's not. This is this this is a cop. Who the fuck is letting it? When the cop goes into the interrogation room 
with a 10-inch rubber dildo and a camcorder. Who the fuck is there to go, you know, uh, maybe those aren't proper interrogation techniques. I, Who the... Who is watching this woman? Uh, I, I have nothing funny because there's nothing funny about this. This is a bad person. Yeah. And I don't even... She should be dragged behind Sarah Palin's bus. Special place in hell. Yeah. When Rapture Day really comes in October... She ain't getting sucked up into the sky. Now this one... Okay, this has probably got the best... One of the best headlines I've ever seen. It's a baffling one, but it's, um... Huh. Yeah! Really? Yeah, that's... I... Magic penis killing set for trial date. Okay. Trial date is, is set to is expected to be set on uh, Thursday for twelve people arrested in connection with setting a pastor alight after accusing him of using a magic penis to sleep with women. All right. Look. Every man in the world thinks his penis is magic. That's why they keep trying to show it to us and put it in us and talk about it and everything. Every man in the world thinks his penis is fucking Doug Henning magic shit. You don't need to reinforce that. Don't reinforce it. You're just feeding this I guy's just... ego. I mean, yeah, you set him on fire, but before that, you totally fed his ego. He's like, well, I'm on fire, but I have a magic dick. Yeah, I just, I, I'm trying to, at, at, nine men and three women aged between 28 and 50 will appear in, uh, court on charges of murder and arson. The villagers, uh, among them, uh, community headmen were arrested after, uh, pastor at the, uh, Iziwi Zion Christian Church was burnt to death the day before. Police spokes, uh, police say that, uh, Mawani had been dragged around his one womb house and set alight, uh... His house was burnt, and his wife and daughter went into hiding. Community members accused him of talking to animals and using an invisible penis to sleep with women. Oh, in... oh no, but read the next one. They he also accused his wife of turning into a snail and terrorizing the community. Let's all just, let's all just ruminate on that for a second. Turning into a... <laughs> and terrorizing the community. How the fuck does a snail <laughs> terrorize I... anything? Like, really annoying slime trails? I. This, this is That's actually... the least scary animal on the planet. Twelve people thought, got together and thought this was a rational reason to kill another human being. 12, 12 human, 12 adults ranging from 28 to 50. These were all grown motherfuckers. And they thought. A whole, meaning to the, whole new meaning to the whole 12 angry men thing. Oh, oh, yeah. How does this happen? I, I don't know. I. And I mean, I, I, I feel a bad, little bad joking because a dude's dead, but... It's 2011! How does this happen? <laughs> it shouldn't. I mean, you should pretty well know by now that... I don't know, man. You'd like to take for granted that people would know that you can't, like, rape women from the other side of town. With an invisible magic penis. You'd like to think that you could just count on people knowing that. You would think I, if invisible penises existed, someone would be selling those motherfuckers on the internet. For what purpose exactly? I don't know. It's the internet. <laughs> what would you do with an invisible penis? What wouldn't you do with an invisible penis? I... 
I don't think I would do anything with an invisible penis. I can't really think of a good use. Oh, that is just practical joke magic right there. Is it? Yeah. I mean, you just, you, you take like, you know, yeah, leave it in someone's, put it, put an invisible dick in your boss's coffee cup. Well, yes, but no one's going to see it. No, but he's going to be it's, like, there's just something rubbing up against my mouth when I, but, and if you're lucky, if you're really lucky, he might just take a big swig and get, you know, the whole, you know, <laughs> if you're lucky. Okay. And you'll know that he's got an invisible cock in his mouth. The word I can't believe I just said that. And you'll get the satisfaction of knowing yes. that your boss is deep throating an invisible cop. Yes. You. Yes. I can't believe Sentences I get Sentences you never imagined you'd be put you'd put together. Oh, I can't believe I get money for this. Oh god. All right. We have I don't even get money for this. Well, I did. I got mm. I got sent to a con for this, mm. I suppose. We got we got more. We got more. Um now this is uh stupid and sweet all at the same time. This okay. this is this is a heartwarming in a misguided way. Justin Lothar threatens hunger strike over seized parrot. A man whose parrot was seized after he filmed it clinging to a windshield wiper <gasps> as he drove down the freeway. Is considering a hunger strike to get his mate back. No. Justin Poor Lothar. Parrot. Justin Lothar staged a one-man topless pro site outside the RSPCA office uh, in Burwood East yesterday, saying he plans to return every day until Angus is back in his arms. I would die for him. He is my life. I don't tag him with ownership or call him my pet because he's my best mate. In March, Mr. Lothar posted a video on YouTube of Angus's ride and another where the bird was thrown around by wipers. Um, okay. I have friends. They are, they are, they are people. Friends. And if I were to, t to take one of my people friends and put him on the windshield of my car and drive onto the freeway and film no, no. that shit. We had that a while ago, remember? They were trying to move a mattress. <laughs> if I did that to my friend, he would not be my friend anymore. <sighs> kind of a basic principle of friendship there. You know, you, you help them out in good times, you, you're there for them in the bad times, and you don't put them on your fucking windshield! And why? You notice how in none of this he has not said the word, I'm sorry. That's well, I mean, there are things like I understand I've had pets. I miss I miss my pets that that passed yeah. away. And I know people get, you know, pets are part of your family. No. So I understand missing your pet and wanting your beloved pet back. But like there are things worth hunger striking over, you know, like. Prisoners in the Northern Irish jails hunger strike themselves to death for freedom. And there are things that you will fucking starve yourself to death for. The parrot's probably going to be okay. Like, it's with the animal, anti-animal cruelty people. Parrot's probably going to be okay. Probably going to yeah. find him home with someone who's not going to put him on a windshield wiper. Have have a goddamn sandwich. Preferably not chicken. Because <laughs> that would just be in bad form. Again, what's just blowing my mind here is not once in any of this has he said, I'm sorry. Maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah. The whole putting him on the wiper thing. My bad. I apologize. Whoopsie. Yeah. Asshole. Okay, now this is just, a lot of people sent me this one. Catherine found uh -huh. it, too. This is, it's not a what the fuck is wrong with you so much as, holy shit! Oh my god, yes, this was horrible! This poor bastard! Oh! 
Yeah, this... I read this and it was, oh my god, so N- bad. New Zealand trucker blown up like balloon by air hose. A New Zealand truck driver who fell on a compressed air hose that pierced his buttock has survived being blown up like by a like a balloon. Stephen McCormack has fallen between the cab of his truck trailer and his truck, breaking the air hose. The nozzle pierced his buttock. I, I, I think there was a test to see how many times they could use that phrase. <laughs> Where did you get shot, <clears throat> Mr. Gump? In the buttocks. And began pumping air into his body, which expanded dramatically. I just, oh my fucking God. I Well, they don't have pictures of that. Oh. Ugh. How do you fix that, though? Like, they, they said, like, his muscle ripped away from his bone and they shit. They can mend it. They It's just going to hurt for a fucking long time. I mean, yeah. that's a tough motherfucker right there. Yeah, right? But you got to go, and after that happens, you got to go, man, this, whatever else happens, this, this is the worst day of my life. Nothing's going to top this one. This is definitely, I'm... Uh, yeah, this right here, worst day of my life. That yeah, nothing else is ever going to be as bad as. Well, you never say that because the world will find a way to be like, really, <laughs> really tough guy. Fuck you. Here's two air hoses and a parrot that just flew off somebody's. <laughs> Check out your eyeballs. <laughs> all i'm saying you do not challenge the universe oh see cj creative and cruel cj 47 just nailed it this day blows oh 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 Oh, that was did that that kind of summed it up though that really did that oh jesus christ and of course last but not least tonight we've got um absolute unadulterated, balls to the walls, crazy. Just like we like it here on What the Fuck is Wrong with You. This do, we, do we like it or do we just have Stockholm Syndrome for it by now? I think you're going to love this headline. You're really going to love this headline. <laughs> Naked man rammed condo <laughs> with dump truck. Okay. And the pictures. Oh my, the pictures. Oh my god. Oh, the pictures. He violated that contract. <laughs> like, that what might the... be on Game of Thrones next week. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Um, a Lovell, a Lovell man faces numerous charges after allegedly, allegedly driving a dump truck into the South Berwick home Wednesday night while naked, then picking a fight with the resident. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Eli T. Hutchins, 24. Apparently the dump truck was to contain his massive balls. <laughs> oh, Eli T. Hutchins was arrested. Uh, two counts of aggravated assault and criminal mischief. I love that phrase. Criminal and mischief. charged with driving under the influence of drugs. <laughs> of course. Think. Police say he drove his 1995 Ford one-ton dump truck over a series of lawns and into the front of 21 Woodland Hills. Hutchins had been at a party, party another unit in the condominium complex and was involved in a confrontation there before getting behind the wheel just before 11 p.m. That confrontation led to one of the assault charges. Hutchins' truck smashed a gaping hole through an exterior wall of the single-story apartment, crashing into the kitchen. Um, the resident said his seven year, he and his seven year old son were sleeping in a nearby bedroom. The front of the truck came into to rest less than 15 feet from the bed. It went through the kitchen and damaged the bedroom wall. Uh, police say Hutchins. Can you even imagine being woken up by that in the middle of the night when you're fucking seven? (laughs) Well, to top it off, police say Hutchins immediately attacked the resident. Like, fuck the monster <laughs> in the closet. A truck is going to run me over in my sleep. Oh, no, no, no. never going to sleep again. No, no, but if you were seven, this is the next part's great. The resident responded by hitting Hutchins twice in the head with a hammer. Damn straight. If I was seven and saw my dad 
wake up and just lay waste to some bastard with a hammer, I would love my dad until the day I died. Yes. Because that's just awesome right there. How do you ever make, how do you ever convince that child again that they can sleep without a fucking truck running through their bedroom? Still, best dad ever. Best dad ever. True. That is best. My dad could beat up your dad. Oh, really? I don't fucking think so. This is another one of those in the, in the moment. Do they have any idea what the hell they are doing? I, I gotta (laughs) think no. And, and, did he have the good sense? I'm happier thinking no. When he leapt out of the truck, did he at least have the decency to say, oh yeah! (laughs) Did he? Because really, you're kind of obligated to at that point. You kind of gotta go, oh yeah! It does, it does seem compulsory. Yeah, but if if you get to the point in your life where you're naked, you're high, you're driving a dope truck, and you're ramming through someone's you house, probably need to rethink a few things. I know. Do you sit there and go, "Huh? Did I? Uh, where did, did I, I make, go wrong? Where did I go wrong in my life? Did, did I? Did I make the right choice? You gotta, there? you gotta get yourself into a nice little thinking pose. Oh, you, you worked in the hippo. <laughs> you just sit yourself down and have a good hard think. About what has happened to your life. Mm-hmm. That's what you gotta do. Who drives a dump truck? Honestly. Okay. Well, that could be what he does for a living. You don't know. But then to take it to a party? Who takes a dump truck to a party? Maybe it's his only vehicle. Is he getting the hotties in that one? All the ladies be pulling up to see him? Let's Ghost be honest, riding. This is the kind of guy that, that did enough drugs to drive his dump truck naked through somebody's house and then start some shit. I'm thinking he's not real discerning Lupa, with his choice of mates. Lupa said something offing. Awesome. If it was his job, it's not <laughs> anymore. True. I'm just saying, I, I don't think he's probably the most discriminating where, where his female yeah. companionship is concerned. Just. It's just a guess. I could be wrong. You know, this is not one. This is one of those situations. I I've got that damn all like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. <laughs> that the the, the jingle's not going to fix this. I'm sorry. Probably it's, not. No. The jingles. But it'd be funny if you hopped out of the truck and then sang it. <laughs> like, oh shit! Oh like, shit! I done what? fucked what? up. What? It's not working! The TV lied! The TV lied! False advertising! <laughs> Maybe he thought he was... Um, <laughs> his, their garbage. Oh. Maybe he thought he was going to work. And he was like, hey, guy, oh. you didn't bag up your garbage. What the fuck? It's not an accepted receptacle for ref- refuse! Also, I'm naked! Yeah, they're right. It, it's he's the mayhem guy from the Allstate commercials. Shaky, shaky, <laughs> shaky, shaky. Oh dear. Yes, that then that, that's the uh, that's the the. Oh wait, that's, I have one more. I actually who found the fuck one. Is naked this week. We should call it. I actually found one all by myself. Really? Oh uh, yes, I did. I feel um, kind of bad that I don't have a hippo nearby. Like. A little uh, a soft, squishy hippo for you guys. I feel like I'm failing you. I got... I got Beanie Death. So, I guess, you know. It's... it's This is... This is a great one. It's... It's from Florida. It's in a Walmart. And it involves drugs. We might have to retire no no it's it's not that great but it's pretty oh, good right. it's pretty good um oh yeah hibernian hippo is kind of peeking out from under the table behind me yeah woman goes on a rampage at brandonton walmart brandonton, on a Florida. rampage brandonton police say a 22 year old woman went on a rampage at walmart tuesday night after being questioned about her receipt now i'm going to pause there everyone hates this you bought your stuff 
You're heading to the exit of the Walmart, and the greeter lady says, Can I have your receipt? No. I st- d- d- what, really? I-, I bagged all my own shit. They do that at Costco. It never really bothered me. But I don't yeah. shop at Walmart, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me when they do it at Costco. It's annoying. But in this one case, a report from the police department says Myra Mays walked toward the exit with a cart full of items she had not paid for. Oh. Off- officers say when the customer service manager asked where Mays' receipt was, she said she didn't have one and tried to pick up a bar stool in the cart and hit the manager with it. Wow. Mays continued to leave the store with 43 items, according to the report, $211 worth of unpaid merchandise. Store employees continued to try and stop her when she became loud and got outside the first set of doors. She then knocked over a display of gas grills and caused (laughs) more than $1,000 worth of damage to them. So now, in the process of stealing $200, she has caused... $1,200 $1,200 worth of damage, but it gets better. Mays left the store into the parking lot when store officials told her that if she didn't leave, the police would be called. She refused. <laughs> Mays then overturned shopping carts, ran carts into parked cars, and spit on parked cars. Officers say the, she then spit on two Walmart <laughs> managers and an employee oh before... Was that much spit? Before... I don't think I could conjure that much spit if I tried. Before she punched them. When, the, when the first officer arrived at the scene, Mays... The report says spit dripped off their shirts. Who has that much spit? Mays appeared to comply, but then threw a cell phone at the officer. It took three officers to control Mays and put her into the patrol car, which she then spit all over and kicked the door. Did you know hippos drool up to a gallon at a time? This is not a hippo. I'm bringing it all back around. This is not she a might hippo. be part hippo is what I'm saying. Uh, I, went to see a hi- I went to see the world's only performing hippo in the circus, and the front row had to have those big plastic <laughs> sheets like when you go see Gallagher. Because this fucking hippo would just shake its head and be like, ah, and just tidal waves. It's better. And it might be this lady. She might be like part hippo. Officers say Mays slipped out of the first pair of handcuffs. They put her in a pair of flexi cluffs and fabric leg restraints. A report says Mays spit, then landed on a detective's hand that arrived to speak with her. A trace amount of marijuana was found inside Mays' purse, and while being examined by medical staff... She admitted to ingesting unknown pills and then began to vomit. <laughs> she just went netters. What is that you always say about how woman crazy makes plans? Okay, this one might be... I don't think be... this lady had a plan. Well, the plan was... No, there was no plan. <laughs> Someone... There was no... Fu- At the point where you're spitting... <laughs> like a goddamn venomous frog at anything that comes within three feet of you. There is no plan. <laughs> and then someone in the channel pretty much nailed it. The aristocrats. <laughs> just... This is okay. If you don't know what the pills are, why are you taking them? Don't do that. Don't just say, Oh, they're pills. Oh, look. You know, the little commercial with the singing pills? You should have a healthy fear of us. I have not seen that That one. could be Viagra. What's that going to do to you? You're a chick. You don't know. But apparently what it does is it makes you tear the fuck up out of a Walmart. You know what? It might have been Viagra because she might have been really <laughs> out of testosterone. That she couldn't do ah! anything else. It was just like Hulk smash! Shopping! Forget so to pay. Hard, but can't. <laughs> I'm gonna choose to believe that 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 she took Viagra and just her brain was like, uh, want to make something erect, can't, and snapped. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Oh god, just I and the, her. I gotta put her up on the big screen. Her mugshot's just like, yep, that happened. She's just kind of yeah, fucked up that Walmart. Showed that bitch who was boss. <laughs> oh, God. That 
I think that's a good one to close out on there because my God, I I don't think we're gonna top it. We're not. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Myra Mays, because that you have brought us all. You may have destroyed the Walmart. I feel like you're doing. I feel like you're about to launch in one of those Budweiser commercials you hear on the radio. <laughs> you, Real men of genius. Thank you, you, lady you, who tore up the Walmart. You may have destroyed the Walmart, but you have brought us all a great gift. The gift of pointing and laughing. Because, my God. Wow. That. That's. So we're definitely going to get you some hair feathers, Nash. No, we're not. Oh, we are. We're not. It, it's going to have a channel. I challenge you. No. I, I want Nash to have hair feathers. No, no. Oh, yeah. No. It'd be hot. You look sexy. Uh-uh. Jason will say so. No. I bet you, I bet you. No, she won't. If the girl tells you to wear them, you'll totally wear them. Back me up here, darling. Back me up. You better back, fucking girlfriend better back me the fuck up here. Eh? She's being very coy. I yeah, God you. damn it! Girl power! Fucking girlfriend! Feathers, God damn it! I see feathers in your future. You can be like, I'm a chicken hawk, and you're a chicken. God damn it. Because you know it's true. You know. You know you're going to be rocking those feathers. You look like a Native American prince. You can paint with all the colors of the wind. <laughs> I can feel your hate, and it sustains me. 